Hi guys, Tuesday the 23rd of um, March, <laughs> I think then. I'm just looking for have a moment. Um, I was just looking at all these um, daffodils. Um, they really are quite beautiful. I was talking to um, uh, one of the people who I, I know actually um, supports one of the courses on slavery. And I love the way she called them the, um, the hosts. And um, I, I didn't look into detail, and she said it was some reference to Wordsworth. I presume it's some sort of poem. I think, I don't know. I'm going to have a look at it actually. So just looking at all these daffodils, that's what came to my mind, the word hosts. And in my, my head I was thinking, oh, you know, the hosts, they're like, um, they're welcoming. They're like a sign of um, change of seasons, new this spring. Um, and they're just literally, they're coming up everywhere. And uh, they only have a short window before they you know, start, start dying off. But it is just that we really thought of all oh, this time, the hosting newness and um, welcoming us, new seasoning. But I was also thinking about um, you know, transitioning. Uh, I think that's the, the right word really, transition, because I don't think it's like, you know, one day you're all in lockdown, the next day you're all come out of it. I think we've been there, done it a number of times now. I think it's about, you know, transition and ease into what is a new time. Um, hopefully where we do get to have a little bit more freedom and flexibility with what we're able to, to do and who we're able to see. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts at the moment. Um, and the hosts again. <laughs> Isn't that right, Will? I know today as well, there was some um, on TV about, um, they were saying 12 noon about it being about reflection. Um, because if it's, um, Apparently a year, is that, I think is that right? A year to the day today that we went into official lockdown. I think that's right, that's what they said. Um, so yeah, 23rd, Tuesday 23rd March 2020, we went into official lockdown. Um, whereas now it's Tuesday 23rd of March 2021. Um, and in reflection, they're also talking about um, people reflecting on, you know, maybe perhaps. I think they were, they were talking particularly about the people they'd, you know, they've been lost. Obviously, there's been a lot of deaths. Um, and I have to say, right now. <laughs> Right now, oh, Willow's like just ups, ups the road with somebody else. <laughs> I'm getting a stroke. Um, but yeah, right now, um, I'm very, very lucky that I haven't had um, <laughs> I haven't had anybody um, that I'm aware of, you know, close to me significantly um, die. Um, since we've had there yeah, the COVID. What are you doing, Will? Hey. Um so I, I recognise I'm quite, you know, well say lucky, you call it privileged. Um but at the same time, for me I still think it's a really important time to reflect and I've said this before, um, and I'm happy to say it again. I think amongst some of the challenges, I personally, um, you know, I can't speak for others, I'm only speaking for myself, I actually feel that I've gained um, quite a lot from the lockdown. You know, I've given myself more space, more time, I've been kinder to myself. I've actually felt that 
I've really enjoyed just being able to what I call breathe a little bit more and slow the pace of things down. Um, I think I, you know, and I have appreciated um, what we call more the, the free basics. So, you know, being able to move it a bit the other place in this place to have um, a garden, um, to have an area where you can um, walk. You know, I've even been able to come out and walk. Um, you know, that's been quite a, a, yeah, a, a real thing to look forward to. But also coming outside in the lockdown, particularly in those early stages, has enabled me to appreciate our time and our walks and, you know, the whole piece about connecting with nature more as well. Um, and, and I've also... Um, you know, I've continued my work. I've gained clients in in um, the various lockdowns. To be honest, in fact, I um, made contact with um, another coach through a supervision training I went on online that I've never done if um, the lockdown had never been happening. And I've made a really good relationship with her. And in fact, she's been great at giving me. Um, passing me referrals through her work for um, particularly coaching some primary head teachers and also some pre at the moment looking at some pre um, you know, sort of nursery reception heads as well you can imagine a real vital time it is for those head teachers who are going to be making and still are you know, real challenging decisions themselves, the staff, the kids, the parents and and amongst all that needing to look after themselves which um, often gets missed and looked and to give them a space to reflect and breathe and also to consider you know stop and consider decisions they're making is vital so that's been a real gain, a real benefit that's come out of it for me so, we're looking to leave you for the rest of a tutu fruit Tuesday, and I'll speak to you later guys. Bye!